At the last election, just over a year ago, the government won a historic, massive majority, breaking through in the so-called red wall seats in the north for its commitment to a programme of levelling up, of tackling those historic structural inequalities that have seen some places in the UK, principally London and cities like Oxford and Cambridge and others, benefit massively from the technology revolution of globalisation and international connectedness, while other areas in the UK, principally the deindustrialized, post-industrial towns and cities, coastal towns, some of the smaller towns, have felt increasingly left behind. And the government's programme of levelling up is about making sure that those people and places who have felt left behind now feel connected to one economy working in the interests of the whole country, binding together the union and creating uh, deep uh, empowerment of people and places, cities, towns, communities around the country. It's a bold and noble mission. The big challenge is how to deliver it. In a country which has traditionally uh, dabbled with regional policy unsuccessfully over uh, the last 50 or 60 years post-war, has struggled to really grip and lead an industrial strategy on anything like the scale of the Americans, the Germans and our other competitors. And in a country which is uh, distinguished by its extraordinary degree of political centralisation, levelling up is really going to be about empowering towns, cities and communities that have historically struggled uh, from that very problem of powerlessness to shape their own economic destiny. It's clearly the central challenge of this government and will be the central determining factor probably of the next election. And as COVID begins now to, uh, to, uh, to be defeated and we start to be able to focus on economic recovery, the big tent is going to be going around the country and asking how do we make sure that the recovery is healthier, cleaner, smarter, faster, stronger than the growth that we had before. We're working with areas all around the UK, coastal areas, rural areas, left behind post-industrial areas, to help bring together, using the big tents convening power, leadership summits and festivals that bring together the people that need to have a voice in shaping their own economic destiny. The big policy questions are clear. How is the government going to move from a world of announcing big funds in London to creating genuine empowerment on the ground in the communities that need to drive change? Next week, we're going to be debating that with one of the leading voices in this whole debate, Lord Heseltine. Michael Heseltine, who in the 1980s led with Lady Thatcher transformational work in Liverpool and elsewhere on inner city regeneration, returned to government under John Major as Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Board of Trade, oversaw the reform of the council tax and community charge and wrote the book literally on levelling up, no stone unturned, advising the coalition government in 2010 on the real steps that need to be taken if we're going to unlock local leadership to drive local economic growth. Come and join us next week. Come and join us in conversation with Michael Heseltine and hear him talk about his experience, his reflections on what is really key to creating that dynamic, empowering, uh, decentralised model of growth that, that is key to changing the life chances of the people and places that have left behind. The Meet the Leaders is the big tense invitation only uh, opportunity for you to come and talk to the leaders who are shaping thinking. Don't miss this opportunity to join uh, Lord Heseltine in conversation with me and the Big Tent next week. See you there.